Okay. So this 55 years, think about it. 55 years ago this year, this past July 2nd, commemorated 55 years. Okay. Now, look at the 55 years of progress for women. Like I said, look at the the empowerment. Look how women got it going on. They, they pretty much have a brand. Okay. And black was a brand, but they made our brand and ethnicity, but the women brand is skyrocketing. And that women's movement, you know, did a great thing and they still rocking to death. But that number 55, that number 55, I looked it up. I looked up the number 55 and the number 55 has some significance. Okay. Because 1619, August 20th, commemorated our 400 year anniversary a few Tuesdays ago. Okay. Which is 400 years by cracking the code. Okay. And the 400 year curse, like I said, go back and see the video, but pretty much we have made it through in time served through the curse, you know, from a biblical perspective. Now, 55 years commemorates the number 55 is a sign that a major life, that major life changes are coming. Because of the nature of this number, you can be sure that these changes will be highly positive, resulting in success or being a sign of future success. Therefore, it's a sign. That is time to get that is time it, that it, that is time to let go of those things and situations that are no longer that are no longer serving us and allow the changes that are manifesting to usher into a new phase in our lives. Think about it. Fifty five years. The 400 year curse ended August 20th. 2019. This year, July 2nd of 2019, is 55 years. And look at the numbers, how they add up. Because as a black man, you gotta you gotta break it down to me. You know, I don't do this just to be doing it. So if I have to convince myself before I go public with this, because once you get out there, ain't no coming back. And I know that everything needs to be fact checked. So anything that I say, anything that I do, please go back. Because if I make a mistake, you know, I'm the first person to say, oh, my bad. And I'll fix it. Steel sharpens steel. I'm not an emotionally driven person. I really want to know the truth. And this is the, this is really the truth. And for the black race, it's time to get our stuff together focus. Don't worry about the past. Don't rely on another race or some political party to do things for us. It's time for us to do it for us. And we're going to have to do it one man at a time, because like I said, you raise a Messiah type figure, you know, you look at history, history will tell you that. So we can't just, we're not going to just indoctrinate some leader. We're all going to stand up and it's just going to be just the way life goes on from this time. So pretty much we are getting into the black reconstruction era, which is 2019 to present. So when the history books come out, it's going to say present because we're going to keep on keeping on. And I just have to let you know, and I'm going to be totally honest, that the matriarch era is dead. The matriarch era is dead. You can hashtag that. You can share it. The matriarch era is dead. It lasted 55 years.